Why, hello there, my crypto bit brothers and sisters. How in the world are you today? It's a beautiful morning, and Papa Ron, you look chipper today. <laughs> I'm feeling good, feeling really good after what we just did. But anyway, yeah, yeah. <laughs> getting that done. Yeah. Oh heck, folks, how in the world are you? I tell you what, we got a we got an interesting. Uh, program today. Ron and I was talking about it earlier, and um, it's talk called tokenization. It's another word that we had to learn. <laughs> <laughs> you know, us, us guys that are real senior citizens, we we have to we have to learn all these new things, tokenization, and and uh, I hell I can't remember them all now. <laughs> well, Rod, you know, in the past month or two, we've been talking about how crypto is progressing to us being used every day in our lives and it's probably going to replace the old financial system and become a new yeah and i we might have used tokenization once or twice from previous articles um, yeah i think so and we believe that it's headed this way but god we did a little research today. there was an article that popped up yesterday um yeah. sure, and is. here it is it's uh and I should have looked this up, this tokenization of shares, a VC firm converts company stock into cryptocurrency token. I That's mean, amazing. <laughs> it is that you're now going to have your stock shares become tokenized, maybe. And, and they're saying that. Um, wow. That all assets will eventually have a token assigned to them. So now, when, now I'm not saying today, but it, you can see it's leading yeah. into this. When you go to the, and trade stocks or on the stock exchange or CME or wherever, you're going to be trading these tokens. Hey, 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 wait a minute. All these people that are real naysayers are saying, oh, it's not going to do anything. Heck, you can see now it's a oh, reality. Man. It is. Just like we talked the other day about all the shipping containers worldwide. Yep. These containers that they ship from the Orient to the U.S. and back and forth that are full of merchandise, oh, that yeah. whole thing has been put on the blockchain, the whole shipping industry system. They're putting on the blockchain, and they're assigning everything. They're coming up with their own token to assign to these containers and merchandise, I think. It's all moving that way, Rod. Yes, it is. Um. And and give gives you your reason why you should hodl, because you know these these downturns in the market, man, it's just part of what's going on. But if you wait long enough, those coins you're holding are going to make you some serious money. Well, yeah. maybe not yours, that little fraction of a sliver of a sliver, but uh, <laughs> most of us are going to do pretty pretty well. <laughs> well, you know me, I go for that pity stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and we talked Hopefully about that. that penny, uh, I'm hoping that that one, one penny turns into two pennies, and I'll be double my money. Double your money, <laughs> that's right. Go from 20 bucks to 40 overnight. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but this article, I, I, folks. I can I, I can go to McDonald's with that 20 and go to go to a nice restaurant with the 40. <laughs> that's right. Then you'll be back to where you're at, living on Social Security. <laughs> We're trying to break that mold. Well, folks, this article goes on and talks about how they feel that everything is going to be tokenized. And how long that's going to take or anything, I don't know. But there'll be tokens assigned to every major asset. Your gold, your silver, your real estate, your and, and, and probably move right into the retail trade, you know. It didn't say that, but um, I could see, you know, just everything being sold off your cell phone and... Your crypto uh, wallet and all that well, it stuff. It starts moving that way, you know. Well, listen, we got a couple more headlines. We just want to show you the kind of back up what that article was talking about. Um, this one here, this article talks about how blockchain tokenization provides a new opportunity to track a product's life cycle. So this article talks about where it gives stats like... Nike sells so many shoes and like a, like a cell phone, perfect example. They can track the life cycle of that cell phone, like how many months that person used it before it went kaput because it's assigned that token and the token would be on the blockchain and the blockchain is a permanent record, 
kind of like a ledger and can track all that. So there's already people, and this was this article was written back in March. Uh, here's wow. another one. And we'll, folks, we'll have these in the description box if you want to read them. Tokenization is the future. This was written back in January of this year. And this article's actually got quite a bit of information in it. Uh, what it's all about, what's the advantage of it, it's here to stay. So we'll put that in there and you guys can review that. But uh, folks, Rod and I really believe that the research we do every day, it's headed that way, baby. It, and it, crypto it, it, is the future. No, no question on my mind. Yeah. <laughs> but now it makes us also wonder about the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you know, e everything good can also be turned around to be bad or evil too. It sure can. And by making everything tokenized and getting away from our cash currency, and it's all run on digits and computers and cell phones, I mean, we're, we're at the mercy of government and bankers and whoever controls this tokenization process and how it works and how it's you know used. Now, if we keep it decentralized, sure. If it if it's person to person, uh, person to company, and no middleman, then then we'd still have some freedom and can navigate our financial destiny. But if it goes to where it's all centralized, God, they can cut you off at any time, and it, yeah, that's it the dark. Scary. It can be really scary. It can. <clears throat> and when I started thinking about that and looking into it, Rod, I came across this video, and we're not going to show it on on here, but we're going to put it in the description box, folks. And uh, the video is. Everyone needs to see this. Is that right? Title. And it just came out, I think. It, what's the date on it? May 19th, which was two days ago. And it talks about how China has got oh, like a million seven hundred thousand, a million seven hundred thousand cameras that do nothing but view the population in China. And they put face recognition to it so they can kind of track when you go, where you're going. And then they're assigning you a credit type score. Let me get the article. It's not that. Um, well, first of all, here's another article that we'll put into. Big data meets big brother as China moves to rate its citizens. Oh, my. Yeah. So if they catch you jaywalking, brother, that's going to be a ding against you. If they catch you bouncing a check... Um, anything that these monitors catch you with they're doing wrong against society's rules and what government thinks you ought to be doing, thinking, and saying, they can affect your rating. And then there's limitations on what you can do with that rating. Matter of fact, some of the examples, this one guy that uh, was interviewed in that video, I think his said his rating dropped low enough where he can't even ride mass transit anymore. Well, um, they, they've cut him off of that because they need an ID card to get into that, and his no longer works. So they penalize the people that don't conform to what government thinks you should be doing. This sets up alarm bells all over for me, man. It's it's uh, Remember, there used to be some old movies that used to depict society in the future yeah the only i remember thing, that book 1984 back in the 60s you know about yeah. big brother taking over and and but you know i i see movies all the time talking about this facial recognition thing and they pop up these little squares around people that are walking around i think our that cia video, or fbi that video shows or that. somebody has that crap hey i got but a great at least, at least they don't do it every freaking day just looking at every citizen you know that that to me that that well, no, totally it, takes my liberty away right me. we might we have some of that here in the u.s but in china it's i'm sorry it's 24 7 in china 
Now, catch this. I was I was about I don't know six months ago. I had one of my granddaughters, and we went over to a Wally World, um, Walmart, and walking in, she she bows her head and does this routine. And I'm thinking I'm not going to tell you her name, but I'm saying, what are you doing? She says, well. They have cameras filming you going in and out of Walmart. She says, my dad taught me just to hide my face. <laughs> <laughs> so there's face recognition even going into Wally World um, to monitor that stuff. And I don't know if it's for security for in case they get oh, held yeah, up. I, it, it is for security. Thanks. Well, sure it is. But they give you that reasoning rod even no though they want to track every dang person and what they're doing. They do it in the name of security. Um, and then this last article that kind of deals with this is uh, China's social credit system puts its people under pressure to be model citizens. And this is what I was talking about. If you get enough dings against you, they start taking away your, your privileges, not rights, your privileges, whether it be to ride mass transit, to use a cell phone. They can ding you in a lot of ways. Um, yeah. just fascinating where we're headed. Yeah, but I don't like that kind of fascination. No, I it don't either. It is a dark side. That it is, it dark. is, and you can see how this stuff could be used on the blockchain and with tokenization. Yeah. Um, blockchain would keep track of all this stuff a lot more efficiently and all that, so... Folks, I don't know. It's uh, that's what I'm saying. We just got to monitor this stuff as it progresses and make sure we, at least part of it is headed the way we want it to head, so we can keep it decentralized and uh, used that way. Yeah, You'll and find I guess these... the way I guess the only way that we can really do that is we want to change something and you know have a revolt is to buy the buy the coins that are totally decentralized. And also uh, have anonymity, you know that word. Anonymity to it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm generally the one who struggles with that. <laughs> I know. I know. I just, I can't roll it off my tongue. <laughs> but you're right. And you see the, but see, again, just like anytime government wants to move people a certain direction, they have a situation happen to where they say we have to put these laws in place they term that as a false flag event um so if they want if they want to move to where everybody is recorded they have to have enough crime going on let's say to where they say hey you know for your safety we want we have to start filming everybody so they have situations happen to move us in the direction they want or that they can pass new laws with now, I was trying to tie that in what you just said, Rod. So by, what did you just talk about? Anonymity. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm getting there, folks. <laughs> so, <laughs> if if they want to move us into a Fed coin or a crypto dollar that's global run by the IMF, all they got to do is make all these other currencies and tokens invalid or outlaw them because there's problems with them too much crime too much tax evasion whatever the scenario so yeah they let all this flourish and i'm not saying this is what's going to go on but you can see them letting all this flourish and expand get the crypto dollar from the imf globally out there where all governments are trading and everything and then all of a sudden boom hey sorry but bitcoin and litecoin e we're having a lot of problems with them. We're going to have to move everybody to the Fed coin. Yeah. Um, yeah, they want us to move it to the uh, to the uh, socialist coin. <laughs> yeah, they want control and power. That's the way. They, that's what the bankers have now over us. That was the whole reason of going to crypto. So anyway, we just got to keep our wits about us, folks, and and uh, pay attention to what's going on. Yep. Back to you, brother. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, we've got to keep an eye on everything. I tell you, citizens of this world, because if we don't want our liberties taken away, we have got to do something about it and get involved. Be sure and give us a thumbs up if you like like what we're saying, and, and give us your comments, because we love to read them, and God bless. <laughs>